Hey everybody, what's going on? Shabby Do here, and today I'm bringing you the Shabby Experience in Icarus to show you the difference between the bolt action rifle, which is the tier 3 rifle, and the hunting rifle. So, first thing when you look at the differences here, you can see the ammo capacity is 1, rate of fire 120, reload speed 300 mil or 3000 milliseconds, so 3 seconds, right? So, reload speed of the hunting rifle, 1 millisecond or a second, 60 rate of fire per minute. So, it's a little slower, but it also has a six ammo capacity, so it's got six chambers. But the biggest difference here is plus 100% critical damage. So the critical damage with your hunting rifle, which is the tier four rifle, is going to be substantially more than with the bolt action. So I figured we look at two easy subjects here. I've got a buffalo here, and I've got another one there. So I got some like items. So we're gonna we're gonna take these hidden, make sure where we get the sneak attack bonus. So first with the bolt action rifle here. 3,900, right? Not bad, not bad. So that's with the tier three. And honestly for the tier three, it's a little bit of a grind for that steel, but otherwise not too, not too terrible. But on the other hand, to get to the hunting rifle, we'll go over the specs a little bit later at the end of this video for everything you need to do to acquire these. But to get a hunting rifle, it's tier four. So you need to build a fabricator, which is a lot of circuits, which is a lot of gold and copper. All right, here we go, and then titanium. So here's the shot. Oop. Must be a predator nearby. I saw I was about to get spooked. Oh, yep, yeah, there he is. How dare you. 48.75 on that. There's another buffalo. And it's great because it just has six in the chamber here. All right, here's our sneaky little buffalo. 4875. So it's got a little more than a thousand damage extra on it. And the, the biggest thing to this, it's the clip. It's that six clip. Say you miss your shot on a charging polar bear. Well, you've got five more shots to go unless you're foolish enough to not reload your weapon every time. Oh, you don't even have to hit, don't even have to hit them hard. And the ammo is still the same between the two. It is still just a single rifle ammo, which is one iron and one fire powder. But if you get the talent to do cost reduction on ammo, you can get a times five. So you can get five rounds for the cost of four. So it'll cost four iron and four gunpowder. Now let's go hit a couple polar bears with this. Oh, here's one right here. Hold on. Let's come over here a bit. Let's spook these guys. So we're going to hit this guy here with the, with the tier three first, the bolt action. So let's hit him with the bolty. Oops, sorry, that was the hunting rifle. I sold the hunting rifle out. I, I like the look of the bolt action more than I do the hunting rifle. And it, I always get it confused thinking the hunting rifle is the cheaper one because it looks cheaper to me. But you saw that. One shot to the polar bear. And now let's go find a second one and actually hit it with our bolt action. Here we go. I got one right to my right side here. Get a little closer this time so I can make sure we see the damage. 3,900. There we go. So it's still a one-shot kill. The differences will be with some of the bigger creatures, like, say, a mammoth. I don't think that hit him. I guess there's no drop in this game. There it goes. So that's the power difference between the two. Now let's head back to the base and talk about the cost difference, because honestly, um, there's no reason to go out of your way to make the Tier 4 rifle unless you're already doing a mission in which you need a fabricator first thing you need to understand about the hunting rifle it's a tier four weapon okay so in order to get there you got to start with tier three so let's look at our bolty first so first thing you need to make right here is the machining bench and for that let's go into the tech tree it's easier to look at everything in here that's the tier three so the machining bench that's going to require it's not that bad 40 iron, 10 epoxy, 120 nails, which is another tw 12 iron bars. So you can look at it as 52 iron bars and 10 epoxy, right? The other stuff is inconsequential. All right. And then you've got the cost for the actual bolty. The bolty is 40 steel. To make a steel ingot, you need six iron ore or three, or three iron bars, which is the same thing. And then some coal, right? So... Essentially, you're going to need to get 240 iron ore, which is pretty much an inventory's worth, to make this weapon. Then four epoxy, ten steel screws, which is a tenth of a steel ingot. So, so that's what you're going to need to make that, okay? So you're looking at 
240 iron ore, let's just call it, right? So that's for a bolty. And now a lot of people want to know, is it worth it to just wait until you get the hunting rifle at tier four? And a lot of people don't understand what the grind is of tier four. Iron is easy. Iron is in every single cave. And if you get yourself in a nice little alcove where you've got a few caves around you, you'll have no problem getting a bolt action rifle in under an hour of gameplay, okay? Now, to get to tier four, you have to make the, the machining bench, right? Obviously. Tier four, you need to get, again, aluminum's kind of inconsequential. It's one aluminum ore per aluminum, so whatever. What you're really looking at here is the carbon fiber is a little rough too, but let's just focus on those electronics today. Electronics, 60 of them, okay? Let's take a look at what you need to make electronics. Actually, let, let's just do it all within the talent tree here. So electronics here, right? One refined gold, three copper, two epoxy, and two organic resin. The organic resin's easy, okay? So we need all day... 60 gold ingots, which is 120 ore. Now that's a lot of gold. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you gotta remember, at best, you're gonna find two gold nodes in a cave. I've never found more than two yet. A lot of times you're gonna find zero, and sometimes you'll find one, and very rarely will you find two. And that's in a tier three cave. I found two in a tier two cave before, and I've never found two in a tier one cave yet. So you gotta take that with a grain of salt that to get that much ore, you're going to go through a lot of different caves, okay? Now, moving on from the gold there, you're going to need three copper ingots, which is going to be 180 copper ingots for all 60 of them. Make a copper ingot, you need two copper ore. So that's 360 copper ore. Again, copper is harder to get than iron, but not that hard. It's not, it's not much different. Let's say iron's a common and then copper is uncommon, right? So you'll still find plenty of it, but you're still gonna have to go through a couple different mine shafts to find enough copper to make all that. So that's 360 copper ore. Now let's look at epoxy, right? Epoxy is a tier two craftable. And each one requires two sulfur and four sap. The sulfur, it's really not that bad. Tree sap is, you, the best way to do it is to make it with sticks and just turn wood into sticks. One wood can become 10 sticks. So it's really easy, but you're looking at a lot of sulfur and a lot of tree sap. So it's just an extra grind. So that's pretty much going out and probably doing two inventory loads, maybe one, but most likely two inventory loads of sulfur runs, which is not usually that bad. All right, and that'll build you your electronics. So that'll be 60 electronics for our fabricator. And then you'll need some concrete mix and everything like that. So also to get there, you're going to need to build the cement mixer, which is another 20 iron. You're going to need to build the concrete furnace, which is concrete. And to make concrete, let's just turn around here and look at my concrete here. Concrete is eight stone, four silica, and some tree sap. So it's going to require a couple silica runs. It's going to require a couple stone runs. Hell, a lot of stone runs. So cement is not a cheap material. Okay. But you're going to need to build all three of these, okay? And then you can build yourself a fabricator. Because you're going to need the concrete. You're going to need the carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. You ready? Um, one silica, an aluminum, four organic resin, and two epoxy. We've gone over how to get all those, so it's pretty simple, honestly. A lot of people make a big deal out of carbon fiber, but it's really cheap. Like, I wouldn't make carbon fiber arrows, but, like, it's not bad to get. All right, and then with that... You've now got yourself a fabricator. You're a very poor man or woman now, but you've got yourself your fabricator. 60 electronics later. Now let's go down to the hunting rifle right here. So it's actually, the hunting rifle recipe is not that bad. It's 40 titanium, which is a lot of titanium ingots. To make a titanium ingot, you need five ore. So this is 200 ore. And again, kind of like gold, titanium, it's a little more common than gold, but not much more. Uh, usually you'll find like a node in every like, you might find a node or two in every tier two cave. You might get lucky and find a node of titanium in a tier one cave. And you'll find, you'll find a few of them in a tier three cave. So again, it's another one of those. You're going to have to go out and go through a few caves to find 40 titanium ingots. So, or 200 ore, which is another inventory load, just about a little less than an inventory load. So you can do it all in one trip if you just cherry pick titanium. So it is another rough one, but that's 40 titanium. So honestly, it's going to take you multiple hours to get there. 
honestly. Like I said, probably an hour. Like a solid hour to get yourself started, get your basic house up, get your craftables up, because obviously you got to work through tier one. You got to build your crafting bench, then you need to build a stone furnace and an anvil, and then you can get your machining bench, and then you got to build your cement mixer and your cement furnace, and then you can carry on, and then you can build your fabricator and go into your hunting rifle. Also, you know, using a, a mortar and pestle. You're going to need all sorts of other things, too, to really get going. So it's not cheap. A lot of people look at the recipe and think it's an easy thing. But honestly, you're talking a couple hours of gameplay to, to get to Tier 4 and build your rifle. I don't recommend it for the majority of missions. If your mission requires you to get to Tier 4 in order to progress, absolutely. Make yourself the hunting rifle. It's a great gun. But otherwise, if you don't need to... Don't spend the extra time to do it unless you just want to, unless you want to have fun. And that's how you enjoy the game is by really spending some time grinding out resources and making yourself as overpowered as possible or as overgeared as possible for any mission. So that's my two cents on it. Uh, the pistol is trash. Don't use it. And I will say I haven't tested it yet because it's just so expensive. The compound bow, it's on the list. I'm probably not going to do it anytime soon. Um, it's the same... The, the recurve is a 50% projectile damage, so this gives you an extra 50%. But at this point, why would I be using a bow if I'm just going to go use a hunting rifle? I have no reason to use the bow. I'll just spend the iron. The iron's easy to get. Iron ore is not hard at this point in the game. I have tons of it. Tons and tons of it. Like, I literally just used up about 200 iron ingots just for biofuel cans because I had nothing better to do with it. So, but that's... That's the hunting rifle and the bolt action right there. There's the damage. Here's your costs. Here's your sign. Go for the tier three. It takes about an hour. You can just grind it out. Just put your base next to a couple caves. You'll get enough iron. You'll get enough to make all the materials you need, make all the steel you need, and then you can make yourself a, a bolt action rifle and progress through all the content in the game with that just fine. Hunting rifles, just if you're bored and you're already going for tier four anyways, like in payday extraction, you have to be tier four. Build yourself a rifle. But all right, guys, that's my two cents there. Let me know what you think down below about between choosing the bolty and the hunting rifle, okay? Leave a comment telling me about that. And if you're new here, do hit that subscribe button as well so you get back here for more of that sweet Icarus content. And if you want to know more about power options, like, look, we've got power here. I've got an electric furnace. It's got a power hookup. We've got a... We've got some power sources outside, so if you want to know the differences between a biofuel generator and a solar panel, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you can get back here for that sweet, shabby Icarus content and so you don't miss it all and don't have to decide and waste the materials yourself. But all right, guys, as usual, this has been Shabby Do. Hope the rest of your day is not too shabby.